Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. So think AC for anti-clogging of the arteries. A is for antiplatelets like aspirin and clopidogrel, brand name Plavix. This guy prevents platelets from clumping together and forming clot. And C for cholesterol lowering drugs. Guys, these end in statin like lovastatin. So remember, stay clean because it cleans out the arteries, keeping them free from cholesterol. Now, since statins prevent the production of cholesterol in the liver, it is very liver toxic. So guys, don't give this to patients with liver problems like hepatitis or cirrhosis. Oh, and also avoid grapefruit juice since it blocks statin drugs. Lastly, if our AC anti-clogging drugs aren't working to do the full job, we can always do the ABCs of surgery to prevent the really big issue, a big clot in the blood vessel. So just like in the coronary arteries, we can do an A for angioplasty, where we put a balloon or stent to push aside that plaque and get more oxygen to the muscle. Or B, we can do a bypass to go around the plaque-filled arteries. And C, we can just cut out the fatty blockage called an endartectomy. All right, guys, I said it once, but I'm going to say it again. The very biggest test topic is always positioning. Again, if you miss this on the test, it's not my fault because I tried to warn you. So guys, always PVD, we're elevating the legs to get that deoxygenated blood down to the heart. And PAD, you hang the legs to help oxygen move away from the body, right? Now, as far as safety, remember our little acronym SHT, like oh shiitake mushrooms. But I'm gonna keep our little veiny and artery acronym in the corner there because it's super important. So our first S is for safety, which includes the eight C's. What not to do. Guys, avoid these, please. Our first C is to be careful with hot temperatures. Guys, they have impaired feeling or impaired sensation, which means they're a huge risk for burning their skin and a huge risk for infection of that burned skin. Now C is for caution with foot trauma, guys. Again, impaired feeling means injured feet can go unnoticed, leading to big wounds and again infections. And then if the infection gets bad enough, amputation. So a good rule of thumb here is that diabetic patients and peripheral vascular patients were to treat their feet nearly the same. And this brings us to our main C, to avoid constriction. Guys, constriction of all kinds. We already have vessels with a narrowing problem. We don't need more constriction. So guys, big no on these guys. No crossing the legs, no constrictive clothing. That means no skinny jeans, no cigarettes, no caffeine, guys. And we're not only talking coffee, we're talking teas, sodas, chocolates, and even Red Bull energy drinks. And lastly, no cold temperatures. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.